will be delivered by Pastor Charles Bande. We can rise on our feet and give him a round of applause. Thank you. Good morning. Can we clap to celebrate all those who are virtually connected with us all over the world? Amen. Now, you are going to do it again because all over the world this morning, blessing is flowing all over. So you look at yourself and boldly say, I am blessed. Are you sure? Look at your neighbor very well and say, you are blessed. Did you believe that? So can we say, we are blessed. And then... Like Pastor Oluwoyo will say, there are two families only in the world. The blessed and the others. So you say, we are the blessed family. Can I say good morning? Let's celebrate God. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. This morning, the first thing I need to do is to give Glory to the almighty God who has made it possible for this particular vision as I got to learn only this morning this is the eighth edition of recap can we please celebrate God for that one let's do something with some excitement uh -huh. Young people must be excited people. Uh -huh. Do some shouting, it's allowed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let them know. Amen. Thank you. And it is my privilege this morning to very, very warmly acknowledge and welcome our pastor, he may not like to be called pastor, but I do know he's been handling the teenagers and all that for so many years powerfully. I know Pastor Loguyo has welcomed you, but I'm welcoming you in my personal capacity and on behalf of the blessed family all over the world. Can we welcome our own pastor, Shagun Adeni? I know you have a problem with that, but every good people, professional people, part of my own job is to make them pastor. So welcome, sir. We will certainly be very blessed. Amen. And then I was joyful when I saw that one of the people I always see from afar is here. Welcome, Mrs. Gloria. Let's appreciate her now. Uh, please, amen. Thank you. LG, sorry if I have spoiled recap. Amen. Welcome, ma. You are celebrated. Celebrate her one more time. Thank you. Please be seated. Of course, I'm not going to take more. I'm not going to take your time. Eh? You know, my own job is very simple. You know, there are not too many places I would have been if I didn't really appreciate it. When it has to do with Pastor Lowoyo, then I'll be there. Can we please? Let's do well to celebrate people. Do it well. <laughs> Pastor Bisi Olowoyo. He has this vision. He is the big man here. God bless you in Jesus' name. I really want to thank every one of us. You know, I told you I'm happy to be here. Now, this program 
is by the youth and young adults of Lagos Province 19. And I know a lot of the leaders of the youth and young adults are also here. I salute you. But I want us to celebrate this morning. I know they've done it. I was amazed. This morning, I, I, I couldn't, it didn't quite get off me. I was just arriving at about 5 a.m. from the flight this morning. And who was there to receive me at the airport? Pastor Femi Aminu. Personally, can you celebrate him and celebrate the wife? Thank you very much. This is good leadership. And all our pastors, God bless you. Let's celebrate all of them. Now, the youth are the ones to be celebrated. Can all the youth in the house rise up? Let us clap and celebrate the youth. Celebrate yourself. You need to. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Please be seated. I've taken about five minutes out of the 15 minutes I was given for this. So don't worry. I hope my timing is good. Can you put this time so that I don't take... Um, yeah. So, I had really wanted to just come have some good time. But they say I'll give keynote address. I say, what am I going to say? Amen. Okay. So this morning, we are gathered to have a time, very special time, on Democracy Day extension, on equipping the next generation. Equipping the next generation. And I'm thinking, amen, I think somebody is still playing around with me. I'm thinking about this issue of generations. I'm thinking about equipping. And this morning, you really need to understand why we are here. It's all about equipping. And to equip simply means to provide somebody or yourself something, the things that are needed for you to achieve a particular purpose. To furnish or provide with whatever is needed for use for any undertaking. So this morning, we are gathered all over the world, and I'm very sure so many people, I was told beyond this venue, there are other extensions all over, and then with the wide coverage of Dove Media, I'm sure all over the world, on our various social media platforms, people are there. The purpose is we want to be equipped. We want to be furnished with what we need. And thank God this morning there are people who will help us to provide those things we need. Brethren, I got to appreciate that the responsibility for providing and furnishing the coming generation with what they need lies with the preceding generation. And that's why the very eminent people that they put here to be able Amen. 
Hallelujah. Can we just clap and appreciate the Lord for, you know, I was getting a bit distracted with hearing myself. They are going to provide us with how can we become better than them? Avoid the pitfalls that they had and become better as young people. Psalm number 78. I'm not to preach this morning, but I am meant to just lay this little background for us. Psalm 78, if you read verses 1 to 8, it begins to talk about from verse number 4. He said, we will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength, his wonderful works that he has done. But I go to verse 6. He says that the generation to come might know them. Even the children we should be born, who should arise and declare them to their own children, that they might, number one, set their hope on God. Please, I just want you to try to understand what we are trying to achieve this morning. That all the ones who receive this will, number one, as a purpose, be able to set their hope on God. And not forget the works of God. So at the back of everything we are doing is the fact that the God dimension must be there. Number two, and my not as their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation. If you see the way things are, many are already very scared as to what the tomorrow will be. This meeting is meant to be able to help us to build a group of people who will make the, the coming generation not to be a rebellious and godless kind of people all in the bid to achieve the things that we are going to talk about today. The way one generation equips the other is by instructions and by modeling. And so today you are going to receive instructions from people who by the grace of God have something to offer. And they will be telling you some of their own stories. And you will be viewing them and see, oh, if this person who is talking to me about relationship, this is how it happened. And I pray that we will not fail to take the instructions and to begin to look at these ones as good examples in Jesus' name. So, I'm trying to tie up, recap. Hmm. Recap. What is the way for me?
and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Of course, the CEA there is about career. Career, how do I grow in my chosen career? And as I was meditating on this, please don't fail to take note of the place of diligence and the essence of grace. I say that again because that is very important for me. Many, many people think career without understanding the key issue of diligence as Proverbs chapter number 20, 22 verse 29 will say, and also to put on it side by side the essence of grace. Grace is critical also because like Psalm 75 will say, it is God that promotes. And I pray today, as somebody begins to tell you these issues, we take it to heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Of course, we are going to be hearing about leadership. Leadership. Big word. But we are all called to be leaders. People who have influence in one area or the other, amongst any little group, you are meant to be the influencer. And I pray you will come out of this meeting understanding that God has raised us up to be leaders. Leaders of two. Leaders of five. Leaders of ten. Leaders of hundreds and thousands and millions, ultimately, in the name of Jesus. Finally, we will be having the P. Today, somebody must talk politics. Amen. Amen. I said we must do what? Talk politics. Don't be afraid again. Like Pastor Lo will say, show you, we are coming with a major push. And you are going to be at the center of that push. If you agree, you will be at the forefront. Can I hear you say, yes, Pastor? I didn't see you. I say, can you say it with excitement? Yes, Pastor. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 29 verse 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in power, the people mourn. We are going to take our destinies into our own hands by the power of God. So get ready to hear what will be said. I am excited that speaking today is Shagun Adeni. I'm sure he will give you godly instruction. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. In conclusion, last word. Early this morning, as I was just trying to meditate, the last thing we need to note in this issue of equipping the next generation, the Lord put on my heart that it is the critical dimension of prayer. Praying for them and teaching them to pray. Very important, if this is all I could let you know, I will feel fulfilled. Because the days ahead are not going to be any easier. And we will need the help of God. There is a new intensity that will get more intense in the realm of the spirit as to who controls the coming generations. And we need to deal with it, number one, by praying for all the people, our young people, 
and most importantly also teaching them to pray. Because except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. I want to thank God for you that you are part of this conference. And it is that this conference will produce the result for which God made all those that have been called to come and speak to you will be here. And there will be impact. And there will be ultimate joy. And God will be glorified. I say, God bless you. Amen. You didn't hear that one. I wasn't wishing you. I am speaking into your life this day. I say, God bless you. Amen. For everyone hearing me all over the world, from the blessed family, I say, God bless you. Amen. Have a wonderful conference.